Welcome. My name is George Pearson, and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos in my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques you'll find in various software programs. Right now I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video, though, is different. This is part of a new series of longer demonstrations that I'm doing to show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish using a variety of techniques and tools. All of the images I use in these projects are in the public domain and I've included a link to the pictures in the video description in case you want to work along using the same images. Okay, let's move on to the project. In this Photoshop wedding photography project I'm going to show you a few different techniques on how to improve contrast in a black and white image. Now, this image already has pretty good contrast. I'd be happy with this one but we can still punch the contrast up a bit more and this is a nice way to just show you the different techniques that can be applied. Now in all these techniques we'll be doing them as adjustment layers so we have the control to change them later on. Our first one here is your basic brightness contrast. Let me just double click on this. Brightness contrast adjustment layer. And using just the contrast setting. Let's just take a look at that and we'll do it from the start to finish. So we first want an adjustment layer. So up here to layer new adjustment layer, brightness contrast. This part just sets the layer itself up, so just choose OK. And it also opens up the brightness contrast settings. Now it's over our picture, so I'm going to just float this up here someplace. There we are. Now on this, you can just you know, leave the brightness alone and just pump the contrast up a bit. You can see what happens here. It's actually darkening down the darker areas. It's kind of kind of attacking the midtones in there and adding in more of the contrast and midtones. Obviously, you know the dark's not going to go much darker. The whites won't go much whiter. So we're really pushing the levels apart on the midtones. This is the easiest way to go ahead and do this. And once you've done that, you may want to bring your brightness up just a little bit to bring some some light back into some of your midtone areas, just just a little bit, not too much. So it gives you a much more contrasty image. Okay, let me just close that out. So there it is, without, and there it is with. So we've you know made the image a lot punchier, a lot more exciting, just by doing that adjustment. Now that's just one of the controls. Now with this, so we lost a bit of detail up in here. For instance, we lost some detail down there. So you want to have controls maybe that have a little more control to them. So back up to layer again and new adjustment layer and let's take a look at levels. Here we go, here's our levels control. Now in here this shows us all of the the values inside of our picture. Notice we don't really have any actual real white. Pure white is clear to the right hand side, pure black clear to the left hand side. Notice that we, you know, there isn't no real true black but we're just inside of true black. There's a lot of, of that and that's this dark area right there. On the whites, there's no real pure white. To use this control, you pull the bottom edge over. Now this again represents your values. Black on one side, white on the other, and then all of your grays in between. These are your black and your white points and your big gray point. So if I pull the black point in, it's going to make the darks darker. Notice how the midpoint adjusts when I do that. So I make my darks darker, like that. The nice thing about this control, as opposed to the contrast control, is that I can do the darks and the lights separately and then adjust the midtones. There's our darks. On the whites, we want to pull those in just a bit. So we can take whatever is close to white and make it a pure white. We don't want to do too much over here because we already have already pretty close. That way, just a little bit, we can give our, our whites in your pure white, but still retain a lot of that detail. So it's a, a kind of a fine tune in there just, just a little bit to brighten those whites up. And then finally, we can adjust the mid-tone values right here. The darks and the lights will stay put. The, the black and the white will stay in place. And then we're either making the mid-tones lighter by going to the left, 
or making the midtones darker by going to the right, but we're retaining the contrast of the image. So doing a little bit like that by brightening up our midtones, we're bringing back in a lot of our details. There's a much more contrasty picture, but a lot more detail than we had previously. So this is a real nice control to use for that. Let's just close that one out. So there it is before, and there it is with. So a little more detail in the shadow areas, but our blacks are nice and black. The whites are nice and white. If added a lot of nice contrast, and again, you have more control with that one. On any of these kind of adjustment layers, if you want to go back and readjust, just double click on the icon, and that brings back up the property panel for that adjustment layer. Okay, let's hide that one. We'll do one more of these. Layer, new adjustment layer, and curves. There we go. Same basic idea. You can see here, here's our blacks right there. There's our histogram showing our values. Blacks on the left, whites on the right. There's our white value. We can, in this case, look at different channels. Now, obviously, we're working with a black and white image, so we only have you know, th there are no channels to worry about. On this, if I pull this to the right, it does the same thing that we did on our levels. I am darkening down the darks, you know, moving more of the dark grays towards black. On the white, if I pull that in, same thing. I am pulling the white point into my lights, making the whites whiter. And then we have this interesting curve in here allowing me to adjust my black and white values. If I, if I come down here and grab a little spot here, I can pull this area here, pull my darks in a little bit or adjust my darker midtones. And up here, I can adjust the, the light tones. So what this allows me to do is to darken down by pulling this down a little bit, darken down my midtone lights and brighten up my midtone darks. So I have even more control. The levels control, I only have one adjustment for my midtones. It was taking the middle and pulling it back and forth. In this with the curves, I can choose however many midpoints that I need. Two is usually pretty good. Use one for the dark half of your midtones and one for the light half of your midtones. And you then have perfect control over adjusting the contrast of your image. So again, the trick here is to pull your, your darks in a little bit and your lights in a little bit, not too much depending upon your image. And then come in here and adjust the midtones on the dark and the midtones on the light side to get just what you want. You can see what's happening right up in here. By darkening down my lights, I am bringing back in some detail into the light. So I'm, re I'm retaining all of that detail. And then by lightening up the darks, I am, again, bringing back in some exposure into the shadowy areas. So we have our high contrast. Here's our bright white. We have pure black here and pure black in there. And then nice control of all of our midtone values. And that's the curves control, which is the best of the tools here to use to adjust your black and white for your high contrast black and white. So there you go, three different techniques. First one, the easiest. See, they're also not the best. That is just using your contrast control. It's more contrasty, but it's not a very good shot. Second is your levels. Much better, but with the levels, even though it's, it's looking real nice, I'm still losing a little bit of detail in my highlights and in my shadows. And the third one is the curves control. I'm still retaining all of my contrast, but I'm also retaining the detail in the highlights and the detail in the shadows and a full contrast picture. There's the original and there's the finish. And if you want to make any adjustments, just double click. And then you can come in here and adjust any setting you want to give it just the effect that you want to have. So there you go. That is how to add more contrast to a high contrast look in your images using the three different standard controls for doing that, going from the least effective to the most effective, which is my favorite, which is the 
curves adjustment. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.